Good morning. Hi, I'm Bob and here's wishing you a wonderful day. This very imaginary story happened just after the demonetization in our country. The once mighty thousand rupee note stared at me from the gutter, its eyes bleak and bleary, along with its mighty sister, the 500 rupee note. How could this have happened to me? It cried. Yesterday we two were the most powerful in the country, today we are garbage, kacha. I looked at the two desolate figures and realized how proud they had been the day I had gone to the bank. Are you a rich man? The thousand rupee note had asked me disdainfully. Because we only belong to the rich, the five hundred rupee note had said haughtily. For people like you are poor cousins. The hundred rupees and fifty rupee notes are good enough. No, I am not, I whispered. We are used to belonging to rich people who have crores of rupees all in bundles, generally hidden inside a slit mattress, maybe stored in an air-conditioned loft or kept in a club locker. Whereas your wallet is a bit lonely, said the 500 sarcastically and smelly. We are not used to being treated so shabbily, scowled a thousand. What did we do to deserve this treatment? To be sent to you. I'm sorry, I had said. I would ask the cashier for 150 rupee notes instead. You can still do that, said both the notes together and seeing their proud faces I went back to the bank and exchanged the two notes for their lowly cousins who seemed more happy and comfortable in my pocket. Now I looked down at the two notes somebody had thrown away after the demonetization. How could this have happened to us? They cried together from the gutter where they lay. We are Kachara. I looked at the two proud notes and remembered how they had treated me. Maybe you should have learned to be less proud, I said quietly as the 50 and 100 rupee notes in my wallet giggled. We thought we were the greatest, they said, that there was nothing more desired by anyone but us. Many people think that way, I whispered. And then their pride makes them fall. Please pick us up, cried the two notes. You are useless, I said. Whereas these hundred rupee and other notes are the kings of my wallet now. Maybe it's a lesson to all we proud people in our world. Up today, down tomorrow. The other notes in my pocket were quiet, suddenly realizing they also could fall tomorrow as they heard the two moan in the gutter. Thank you. This is Bob signing off.